Hey guys, get ready with us, but we can't activate the horror filter. Fuck! <laughs> this filter has it. Oh, has it out for me. I literally can't even talk. <laughs> Stop. Stop! Hmm. <laughs> We're canceling the filter because it too much work. literally will not get off my face and I wouldn't even be talking. <laughs> I would be frowning and it would just like activate. We're getting ready right now for the lake. We're having a little lake day and I'm so excited. It's our first lake day of the summer. <laughs> Yesterday we went and watched the new horror movie called A Quiet Place 2. Oh my... <laughs> Except I was literally watching the cat the whole time. Every five seconds, I'd be like, where is the cat? She was crying because the cat was in distress, <laughs> not because people yes, would die. Yes, I was literally so terrified. 10 out of 10 movie, the cat doesn't die. So if you're scared of that, then don't worry because the cat survives. It was the star of the show. Like, oh, yeah. It was so good. Turning the filter again because it literally it has an hour. Work. <laughs> Fuck this filter. <laughs> I'm actually going to try to like do this because it literally okay wait stop <laughs> okay we're ditching the filter for good now because it has something against me okay guys i'm not doing that much makeup because um i'm definitely gonna be going fully in the water but i always bring like makeup okay, wipes okay. with me so when i get out of the water i just wipe everything off but yeah guys whoa you just created an earthquake for them bro <laughs> Pause. Guys, if my cat was in the movie A Quiet Place, he would be dead in like 10 seconds. He loves to meow, like he's a talker. Then I was just trying the new new road blush for the first Whoa. time. Thoughts? Isn't Whoa. it so creamy? It's so, it's so pigmented. It's so good. Guys, tomorrow's the 4th of July and let me know what you guys are doing. I love hearing about people's plans. I was gonna go down to the States, but it's just like too much. Nadej, oh my god, another earthquake. Nadej is actually American and Canadian, so what do you prefer? July 4th. Really? Obvi. Yeah, I feel like you guys like do more fun stuff. But guys, we're doing a fun boat day today and I'm really excited. I think we might do that tomorrow as well, but we'll see. Guys, this is like my first time doing my very own like boat day and I'm really excited because I've never done one like in my hometown with like my family and friends. Guys, I'm using my new coconut lip balm that I just DIY'd yesterday. It was so freaking fun. I like did it with all my lip balms, but they're so cute. This one's definitely my favorite. Bye, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, get ready with me for a boat day. Happy 4th of July to all my American baddies. I'm pretty sure like a majority of you guys are American. I can't believe it's already like the 4th of July. It's just, I think it's just so crazy that time is going by so dang fast. Also, guys, I need your help. I went to the lake yesterday, and it was, like, so much fun, but I just recently dyed my hair, and you're not supposed to go in salt water, but I dunked my whole head in. Because if it's, like, hot out, and if I have a bathing suit on and I'm near the water, I'm gonna want to go in fully. Also, I'm, like, almost out of this moisturizer. I'm actually running low on a lot of things, but anyways, I dunked my whole head in, and then I came home, my mom was like, oh my gosh, like, your hair looks, like, a different color, and I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, you're not supposed to go in salt water when you just dyed your hair also i forgot to put sunscreen on at the lake like who forgets to put sunscreen on when they're about to go out for a lake day and my whole nose it's my nose is always like the first to burn and it's like bright red right now my mom was like your hair just looks so much lighter now and then i was like mm, no it doesn't and then i looked in the mirror and i was like fuck it kind of does like it's not a huge noticeable difference like you can't really tell on camera because my hair is clipped back right now but i don't know i just don't want it to actually like fully change color so if there's any hairstylist out there watching this video if you know how i can go swimming in the lake without this like happening let me know <gasps> bless me bro but anyways my hair changing colors is not gonna stop me from swimming in the lake because it's just so much fun like i'd rather just have fun than like worry about my hair also the weather is getting so insanely hot again like this whole entire week it's supposed to be 29 30 the highest which is celsius not fahrenheit which is like crazy oh my god why did i put that on my nose i like never put bronzer on my nose i don't know why i just did that it's gonna blend it's so weird <gasps> oh fuck okay now it just looks like i have an extra burnt nose let me fix it literally thank god for beauty blenders whoever invented them like 
they are the best lifesavers if you ever put too much product on literally just go over it with a beauty blender because it soaks everything up like it's the best anyways also i filmed our lake day slash boat day whatever yesterday and for youtube and i'm so excited because i'm in my i guess you can say active era do you guys go like this or like this because <laughs> i don't know why i just went like this i usually go like this anyways <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna have the video up by the end of this week um my youtube is linked in my bio or you can just search up my first and last name it'll come up I don't know why I'm sitting so far away from my desk. Like, how did I get all the way back here? Okay, just finished. Bye, guys. If you do any of these things, then we can't be friends. When you go completely silent when I accomplish or achieve something huge or major in my life, I feel like as a friend, you should always be supporting and uplifting each other and celebrating, like, every accomplishment. When your only form of, like, having fun is going out to like party and stuff and you just can't have fun by just hanging out the two of you guys like don't get me wrong i love going out but if that's your only way of like having a relationship with me then we would not <laughs> get along if you are rude to a waitress or a staff like oh my gosh one time i went out with this girl and she was so incredibly rude to our waitress i was so embarrassed i probably gave her the biggest tip of my life because i felt so bad I don't think I've ever been so embarrassed in my life. We've just gone absolutely no contact. And it's always the people that have never worked a single day in their life in customer service. And I feel like it says a lot about you as a person if you're disrespectful to someone. Like, it's just common respect. This is gonna get some people a little mad, but if you're like an extremely active Taylor Swift hater, I personally love Taylor Swift, and I'm not saying that you have to love her too because we all have different tastes in music, but if you have to go out of your way to let everybody know how much you hate someone, I just think it's so weird and it says so much more about you as a person. I personally will always stand by this, but if you're going out of your way to actively hate on someone or shit on someone, it affects you so much more than it does to the person receiving the hate. But of course, you just won't understand that because your whole mind and your body is so overfilled with so much hate. But in reality, do you hate the person you're hating on more or do you hate yourself more? <gasps> T. Period. Moving on. Um, One-sided friendships. I cannot stand those. It's like when you have to put in all the effort and all the work into the f to make the friendship work. Because at this point, it just feels like you don't want to be friends with me. So why should I keep putting in all the work? When you get embarrassed over every little thing, and I'm talking about every single little thing, like, I get embarrassed too, like, don't get me wrong, but when it's every little thing, then, like, girl, I don't even know how to hang out with you anymore. People who hate on cats, I feel like I can make a whole video about this, but you really have to gain a cat's trust for them to like you. If you can't even gain a cat's trust, how am I gonna, how are you gonna gain my trust? I feel like this is a pretty common and basic rule, but if someone's talking behind my back and you don't defend me, especially if they're talking bad to you and you're just silent the whole time. Anyways, this list could literally go on forever, but we're already running out of time, so that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my lashes off camera because I'm too lazy. Bye, guys. Guys, I just went through my tags and I saw all of you guys' videos tagging me in Get Ready With Me's using the clip that I launched with Glow Recipe. It was actually so cute. Thank you all so much. I really, really appreciate it. Also, ignore how crazy my hair looks. We went to the lake yesterday and I came home and I just didn't have time to like, well, I did have time. I was just too lazy to wash it. But I'm going to wash it today. I just left it in braids because if I take it out, it'll literally look insanely crazy. Guys, I'm going to New York next week, and I'm so excited. Um, might do a little apartment hunting there. But the main reason why I'm going to New York next week is because I'm having my first ever meet and greet, and I'm so excited, but I'll definitely drop more deets when I have, like, all the information, but it's gonna be on the 20th. Or the 21st. I low-key have, like, really bad memories, so let me get back to you guys on that. And it's gonna be at a Sephora to celebrate my new kit with Glow Recipe. Also guys, I thought um, today was the day that my kit is officially launching in Sephora, but I got like the days mixed up and it's actually tomorrow, so I'm so excited. I've seen already so many videos of you guys posting me in Sephora, but I haven't like seen myself firsthand, so I'm literally so, so, so excited to go in tomorrow and like actually see it in Sephora. 
I'm getting ready for brunch with my mom right now. She's like frantically cleaning the house because we have some guests coming over like right now. They're literally just dropping by to say hello for like 10 minutes and she's freaking out vacuuming nonstop. It was so hot last night. I almost had like a heat stroke in my sleep. Nadege slept over last night and she got so hot like midway through that she slept in my living room for the rest of the night. But that's just the reality of having no AC in your house. And I have a fan, but you know when it's just like so hot that even the fan just blows out warm, hot air? Anyways, that's just what it is right now. And I can feel my makeup melting off right now as we speak. But it's fine. <laughs> Bye, guys. Get ready with me to see myself in stores at Sephora. Today is the day, guys. My kit is officially out in stores in all Sephora's. If you guys are wondering if my kit's going to be sold in your city or country, as long as you guys have a Sephora, then it'll be there. Or I'm pretty sure it's also sold in Mecca. Also, guys, I took my braids out yesterday after leaving them in for like two days. I did not know my hair was capable of looking like this. Like, I've left it in braids before, but it's never ever turned out like this. And I think it's so cute, but if any of you guys know, there's like a hair tool or something that can achieve this exact same hair look, let me know. Because I don't want to like French braid my hair every time I want hair like this. And my sister was the one who French braided it because I cannot French braid that well. I still can't believe that I'm going into Sephora to see myself. Like this is so insanely crazy. I remember when we shot this back in January, I walked into this studio and I was like, holy shit, like this is so real. It has been one hell of a ride, you guys. Oftentimes, I'll like scroll through my account and start at the very bottom. And I just love watching myself evolve and learn and grow and like change. It's almost like the eras were like there's so many eras in my life. In the beginning, it was my debut. And then I worked myself up. Oh my gosh, that'd be such a fun like edit photo idea i might do that so much has happened within the year that i've been doing this and i cannot be more grateful for all five million of you like it's actually insane i'm gonna cry when i see myself in store i can already feel like tears brewing up right now but i'm holding it back it's also like 30 degrees outside and i feel like melting Guys, I actually love my hair. I want my hair to look like this forever. I was supposed to wash it last night, but I was like, hey, the curls look so good. I feel like most of my friends with curly hair want straight hair, and most of my friends with straight hair want curly hair. Literally just proves that you always will want what you can't have. Actually, I'm not going to say what you can't have because you can definitely achieve those things, but more so what you don't have. Okay, guys, I really got to go, but I just did my mascara. Now yeah, I'm just doing my road lip peptide. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Guys, I'm having my first ever meet and greet in New York City next week. And I'm so excited to meet all of you. So the exact date is July 20th. And it's going to be at a Sephora. I'll put the Sephora address on the screen right here. And it's going to be from 12 to 4 p.m. So you guys can come anytime between that time frame. And I'll be there to say hi. You don't have to sign up for anything and it's free obviously but it's to celebrate my new launch with glow recipe but yeah i'm so excited it's gonna be so much fun you guys i can't wait to see you all there and i'm so happy that it's in new york city because it's like my favorite city ever i'm actually so excited for this you guys i can't wait to like see all of you guys Anyways, guys, it's like 7 a.m. right now, which is the earliest I've been awake this whole entire summer because my mom is, like, making me go somewhere with her and wherever we're going is, like, an hour drive. Oh my gosh, I forgot sunscreen again. It's fine. I'm low-key, like, running late to remove everything from my face and restart. Guys, I was supposed to wash my hair yesterday, but I left it in again because the curls or the waves look so good. I was like, okay, I'm just going to leave it in for one more day. So I'm going to wash it tonight. Don't worry. But I feel like it's because my hair is always so straight that once it's in a different like hairstyle, it just like makes it look so good. But a lot of you guys said I could get like a crimper to achieve this like wavy beachy look. And I've tried those before, but I feel like they just don't look the same. Like it doesn't look as volumized at as it does when you leave it in braids and take them out like a day or two later and then i also saw someone use like a really really skinny curling wand it was like this skinny and it like looked so good but it 
actually took her like a whole hour and my hair is pretty thick and I just don't have time to sit here for an hour. Guys, it's actually so hot right now. My whole entire like bronzer is melting because it's on like the side of my face. Okay, I literally just had like a heat stroke, but I did my lashes in that time being. But guys, Fenty came out with like lip liners and new gloss bombs, so I want to try it with you guys. I already tried the gloss bomb. It's like amazing. It's so glossy, but I want to try a different shade today. The lip liner shade is number two, and oh my gosh, it's so sharp. For the gloss bomb, I'm using shade number one, which is called Blazed Donut, and I'm pretty sure it's just like a nudie color. Okay, not a huge fan of this color, so this was the one I really liked. It's called Is It Fussy? This ones are really pretty. Gonna go clean my lashes, but that's all. Bye, guys. Guys, how do we get to a point where it's considered flirting when someone likes your Instagram story? I just saw someone post a screenshot of, I guess, their crush liking their story, and they were like, what are we and i was like oh my gosh i can't believe this is now considered flirting in our generation like i get that it's exciting but like what happened to real life interactions like that is what i really consider like actual flirting anyways i woke up this morning and i found out that donald trump got shot it was literally the first thing i like looked at when i opened my phone and the funniest part was i found out through tiktok i literally opened tiktok and it was an edit i found out through a freaking edit <laughs> and like i'm not even american and i was so invested it was a pretty eventful morning but anyways guys i'm getting ready to meet my friend um this is like my last week where i get to see all my friends it's so sad because basically i leave for a bit next week and then by the time i come back my friends will be gone like most of august and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be gone most of august too so it's kind of like a final goodbye and it's so sad because i feel like it's so early on in summer still especially because we usually have most of august too but i learned that the older we get like the shorter our vacation times get cut in half if you're in high school right now then really really enjoy it because it seriously does not last that long and time will fly before you know it but yeah me and my friends we're all going in like different directions later this year like this fall so it's kind of sad but to see us like growing up and it's also so weird to think about the fact that i'm closer to the age 20 than i am to 15 like it's actually insane reaching 20 is so scary it's like literally a whole new decade and it's terrifying but also really exciting it's like a whole new chapter of your life also i like washed my hair yesterday and i used a hair mask i literally used a hair mask for the first time like correctly yesterday i used to use it like wrong basically i just didn't know how to use one in the past and i would use it like conditioner like i would put it on and just wash it off straight away and i used up my whole jar of like gisu hair mask doing that and then i found out you're supposed to leave it in and that's why every time i would use my hair mask i would be like why is it not making a difference and it was because i was using it wrong the whole entire time anyways i finally properly like used it yesterday and my hair feels so freaking soft okay my friends here so i'm just quickly doing my mascara okay i'm trying this new shade of fenty gloss called hibiscus and it's so pretty pretty it's like really pink so i'm kind of scared but oh my gosh this stuff tastes so good and it's so glossy i love it bye guys get ready with me for the airport it's like 6 a.m right now i had to wake up extra early because guess what i didn't pack I started packing for like 10 minutes yesterday and then I ended up binging Gossip Girl. But guys, we're heading down to LA and then we're going to New York City for my meet and greet and I'm so freaking excited. Also doing some apartment hunting while I'm in New York City and I'm so excited to take you guys with me. I'm also kind of scared though because I heard that apartment hunting in New York is like really scary and really hard. Okay, using my glow screen because I don't feel like wearing a skin tint on the plane. And this will give me that. Plus a glow and SPF, which you actually really need on a plane. So I feel like that just completely evened out my face with the rest of my body. And now I'm like glowy AF. She is coming with me in my travel bag. 
also guys i got my nails done like a few days ago and i'm like just now realizing how bright and neon they are but they're so cute they're perfect for like summer i feel like and i feel like i haven't had any pop of color for this summer yet so i wanted to do like hot pink my cousin is coming on this trip with us this was my little birthday gift to her but her birthday was like three four months ago but it just took us a while to plan everything and to make sure that our both of our schedules aligned but i thought this was perfect because now she'll get to hit la and new york at once oh my gosh guys my mom just brought me a cup of fruit and some tea this is like asian mom love i feel like this is the longest i've been home for in the past like three months and it's been so great seeing all my friends and my family but man i miss traveling I love traveling so much and I'm so grateful that I get to do it as part of what I do and that I get to do it so often. Also, it's been so ridiculously hot these past couple days. I'm so excited to like get out. <laughs> I know it's still gonna be like hot in LA and it's definitely humid AF in New York. When I was there in like what, May, I literally thought I was gonna have heat stroke because of how hot and humid it was. But at least there's gonna be ac at the hotel so i'm debating if i should do mascara or not because it'd be kind of crusty when i get off the plane so i think i'd rather not today but i do have a fitting like right after i land and i don't want to look must whatever bye guys hey guys i gtg for the airport in 10 minutes so pack my travel bag with me first and foremost always have my little pouch with my necessities such as maximum strength cortisone cream because the mosquitoes are everywhere makeup wipes dirt because i always feel like nasty on the plane for some reason charging cable number one charging cable number two we got all my pills because i get sick like that especially when i'm traveling okay she's literally busting out but it's still zippable hold on okay don't know how i managed to do that but it's like a football so i have a little pouch in my bag in here i put hand sanitizer four lip balms one lipstick hand cream travel size perfume i just found these photos in my bag anyways that's this pouch in the other little compartments i'm gonna put these headphones because they never give them to you so i just like steal them from previous flights pack of tish because i'm always blowing my nose portable charger that i actually need to plug in right now I have this cute little like compact mirror from Fenty. This is the thing that like breaks my shoulders every time I carry my bag, but it's my laptop, but I have to bring it. Okay, we have gum, passport, AirPods. Okay, I'm thinking of transferring everything in my wallet to this little card holder that I got like years ago because it's always better to just travel with like something small rather than a huge ass wallet. Just found five American dollars in my wallet. It's my lucky day. Bring one pair of sunnies. This is not the right case for it, but it fits. Okay, I'm debating between these two because, like, yes, airport vibes, but they're so heavy to carry. And, like, do I really wear these on the plane? They are actually so cute, though, but ugh, I don't know. Now I'm thinking I want to bring my iPad because I want to watch a show and you can't do that on your laptop. Which is so ridiculous, by the way. Like, why can we not download shows on our computers? I'm not going to bring these because they're going to break my shoulders. A whole pack of pads because I got my period this month, so I'm literally just bringing the whole pack. I think that is all. I hope I'm not forgetting anything, but I'll see you guys there. Bye! On my little bag. This one's like ginormous, but it grips on my hair. <laughs> Almost forgot, but claw clip is a must. Hey guys, get ready with me. <laughs> I've never been so tired in my life. It's 9am New York time, which means it's 6am back at home. But we have to get ready for a few meetings this morning. We have a few back-to-back -back meetings today and tomorrow, but they're exciting and fun meetings. I'm meeting up with the Chanel Beauty team today, which I'm so excited about. Also tomorrow, we're going apartment hunting, which I'm so excited about. I can't wait to take you guys with me. It's gonna be so much fun. Last weekend was actually the most insane weekend of my life. I don't even know how to explain it, but when I tell you guys, I was so nervous before I had to leave. I was honestly so scared and I don't even know why. 
I don't know if you guys remember, but I spoke on a panel like a month ago. I felt like that, but like 10 times worse, which is so weird because speaking on a panel is like 10 times worse than literally attending your very own meet and greet. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like going to piss my pants. But as soon as I walked into the room, it was just so full of love. And like the anxiety just like left my body and it got replaced with like adrenaline instead and it was honestly the best experience of my whole entire life meet and greet was like four hours and at first in my head i was like that's a long time i was like there's gonna be no people by the time like an hour passes but it really just got busier and busier each hour which was literally so insane and to all of you guys that made me little gifts and letters thank you so much i was reading literally all of them last night it was so sweet from the bottom of my heart Thank you to every single person who came out and supported. To all of those who made me little gifts. This experience just made my whole entire summer. Anyways, yesterday we did a little shopping and I took my cousin around New York City because if you didn't know yet, I'm here with her and it's her first ever time in the city. So it was really fun getting to explore with her. It was almost as if I was in the city for the first time ever. I brought the setting spray because of the heat in New York and the humidity is like not to be played with. We're using Rare Beauty's new pressed powder. Oh my gosh, I didn't even get to tell you guys about what happened during the event a few days ago. I met Selena when that little incident happened. It was such a last minute thing. I was so shook. This whole entire like past week has just been a complete like fever dream. So much has happened and I just couldn't be more thankful and grateful for everything. I forgot to bring one of my mascaras on my trip. And I've been using this one my cousin let me borrow. And it's so good, especially for Asian eyelashes. I only get this in Asia. This is the brand. I need to change out of this sweater before I overheat. And I also have to do my hair. It's like a huge mess right now. But I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready with me to go apartment hunting in New York City. I cannot believe that those words just came out of my mouth. You guys know I love New York City so much. I've been wanting to move to New York City for the longest time, ever since I came here for the first time in the 11th grade and I just automatically fell in love with the city. And to think that I'm now able to possibly make it happen is just so insane to me. But of course today we're just checking out the apartments and like the neighborhoods, kind of just feeling out what I like, nothing major. It's gonna happen today, I don't think at least. But we'll see what happens. Every single time I say that, something major does end up happening. So we'll see. We have such a long day ahead of us. I just got my schedule sent over and we are touring from like four to seven. Just kidding, I just checked and our showings are actually from three to seven, which is much longer than I thought it would be. But it's gonna be fun. I feel like the more the merrier for sure so I can really scope out all of my different options. And then this morning, I have two really fun and exciting meetings to go to. Today's also our last full day here in New York City, so I'm really sad. This I just can't believe that this whole week was even real. It just felt so surreal, but it seriously all happened. We did a tour of the Empire State Building yesterday, and they let us go to like the top viewing area, like the top deck, and it was so insane. It was like surreal. We stepped out and it was just like the whole city right in front of our eyes. Also, let me just say, this is the only setting spray that has lasted me through the whole entire New York like heat, but it has a major downside. It smells so bad, especially when you spray it on. It's like you're putting hairspray on your face. I'm thinking of putting my hair in a slick back today because it looks so insane. I slept with like a hair tie in and now there's a huge dent in the middle of my hair, so I'm gonna slick it back. Also trying my best to not wash my hair that much because I don't want it to keep getting lighter. Also guys, Chanel Beauty gifted me so much stuff yesterday, so let's try. So I'm thinking either their regular powder blush or their duo blush. Okay, I'm doing the duo because it looks so cool. I'm gonna brush through both of them. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I want highlight and blush duo. This brush is so gentle. Good lash day means it's gonna be a good day. Okay, final touches. I'm using their Chanel Chance Perfume. Look how cute it is. I already got my fingerprints all over this, but the whole Chance line smells so good. I'll keep you guys updated on today. Bye, guys. Get ready with me while I pack my makeup bag for Japan. Ah! So I'm going to Japan tomorrow, and I literally just found out, like, <laughs> yesterday. Basically, my mom was originally going to go to Japan, and she had asked me if I wanted to come and I said no 
because I would have just been getting back from another trip which was New York and I thought that I would have just been too tired but I got back like two days ago and like who the fuck doesn't want to go to Japan so now I'm going literally booked my ticket yesterday and I don't think you guys understand how excited I am I've never been to Japan but I've heard so many amazing things we're also going to Taiwan for two days if you guys didn't know I'm from Taiwan so I'm so excited to be going we used to go back like every single year but after covid we kind of just stopped and i'm so excited because like i still have a lot of family there like my grandparents still live there and like a lot of cousins and stuff it's honestly just gonna be such a fun trip and i can't wait to take you guys with me so we're doing taiwan for the first stop and then we're going to tokyo for five days and then we're ending the trip in taiwan i know it's like a little all over the place but my mom planned it so i'm literally just going along here for the vibes i'm like packing my makeup bag as i go so i don't forget anything but i'm starting to think that this isn't gonna fit everything and i usually bring this giant packing bag but i'm trying not to pack so much this time okay i wanted to bring this but it just completely combusted so also i really want to start watching love island because everyone keeps talking about it I keep seeing it all over my like tiktok for you page but I'm just like a little confused because the whole point of the game is to just not have any like sexual interactions with anyone and you just win the prize. And from what I remember, the prize is like a significant amount of money. And I feel like if there's that much money on the line, I would do literally anything. Like how hard is it to literally not kiss someone for a month? <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, it's like really funny and entertaining, but I feel like it's so easy to win, especially if there's that much money. But I might start watching it because it looks so silly but i keep seeing it everywhere so i want to start guys i'm actually so excited i love traveling and i'm so excited to go back home and i'm so excited to go to japan okay i don't think everything's gonna fit in here so i have this other bag it says get glowing with me ah so cute this is my kit um so i think i'm gonna do skincare in this bag okay i'm just adding a bit more blush for a little more of a pop guys this powder's like broken so i just it has so many scratches on it because i store it without the lid and so it's probably not good, but it's like one of my favorite powders, so I'm gonna still use it. I want to bring these like Rare Beauty highlighters so bad, but they're so bad to travel with. I lost my Maybelline Sky High mascara, so I need to go pick one up later today. Okay, I'm gonna finish packing my makeup bags, but I'll see you guys. Bye! Hey guys, we leave for Asia tonight. So if you guys didn't know, I'm going back home to Taiwan, and then we're going to Japan for a few days as well. I literally haven't been back to Taiwan in like years. I'm so excited to see all my family, but I haven't packed a single thing yet and we leave literally in like a few hours. I was gonna go get my nails redone for this trip, but these are probably like the best nails I've ever gotten and they're also like not that grown out. So I feel like I haven't used this moisturizer in forever, so we're gonna use it. I curled my hair this morning and I don't know why because I'm literally getting on a plane in a few hours and it's like a 13 hour plane ride to Taiwan so it's definitely gonna come apart by the time we land but I just wanted to like look cute for the airport I guess that's why I curled it but when I get to Taiwan in Japan it's gonna be so like humid that I won't even be able to do anything with my hair other than like slick backs probably I checked the weather for Japan and it's like 35 36 celsius that's like 100 i think over 100 fahrenheit which is so insanely hot now i don't know about the humidity in japan but i do know that in taiwan it's like so bad because well i grew up there so duh i hate the heat so much like i'd rather i say this all the time i'd rather freeze than literally die from heat also like i'm like scared to wear tank tops in asia my grandma like scolds me every time i wear one because she thinks it's like too scandalous and obviously like yeah i get it like the culture is so different there but i'd be melting it's so hot anyways i'm going to run a few errands before we leave today i don't even think i can call it an errand i'm literally just picking up a mascara i ran out of and then that's literally all i need to do y'all i'm so excited i've literally heard like nothing but good things about japan and obviously i'm so excited to go home it's gonna be so good and i will be vlogging for youtube for this trip so don't worry guys also apartment hunting update my realtor has been sending me a bunch of like different apartments and stuff it is our oh shit wrong side it's so hard because there's always like one thing wrong with like the perfect apartment like there's always just one flaw that affects the whole entire thing but there is this one apartment that i really like so we'll see i might apply for it 
but I kind of have to go quick because it goes so fast in New York. But patience is key in this process. I feel like, like this is all about time and the right one will come when it's meant to come. I saw someone comment that it's like a full moon right now, which explains why I'm in such a slump at the moment. Oh my god, I put way too much. <gasps> okay, I'm not doing my lashes because that's what I have to buy. I lost my Sky High, which is the one mascara I use. So we're skipping that. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So we're leaving for Japan in like a few hours and I still haven't packed. Who's surprised? Um, so pack with me. I have my packing cube right here. I'm gonna go through all the clothes I'm gonna bring first. We have the little tube top. Another tube top. I actually just got this from Addicted. It's so cute. It has a little, like, star on it. This plain t-shirt from Skims. This tank top. I brought a lot of t-shirts because I feel like it's more appropriate in Asia. This t-shirt from Brandy. This t-shirt from Brandy. And this shirt from Aritzia. And I'm also bringing in dark pink. I guess hot pink. Really cute. This black tank top with little bows. This USA tank top. This navy shirt. These are my favorite tanks from Aritzia. Have it in heather chrome. Plain gray. And then like a little baby pink. For bottoms, I only have three. Brought this little skirt. These are the only shorts I'm bringing. They're like the only shorts I like. I don't really like how the others fit me. And then this white skirt from Aritzia. Okay, I'm thinking I could also bring this little set. Little tank top from Aritzia. Matching skirt from Aritzia as well. You can also wear this as a top. I used to do this all the time. I have a neck brace on. <laughs> okay, all my clothes are packed up in my cube. This is all I'm gonna bring. I'm trying not to overpack. I feel like this is already a lot, but... <laughs> okay, this is my skincare bag. I have my contacts up there. I also got the new Tower 28 cleanser, so I'm really excited to try this. This is my OG sunscreen. Cetaphil is the best. <laughs> more skincare products okay and then i have a separate pouch for carry-on skincare and here i'll just bring all my travel size stuff this is another must on a plane okay and then this is my actual makeup bag all my makeup products and this will go in my check-in along with all the other stuff and this is my hair bag it's hair and body so i put like all my hairsprays this really nice like body oil styling cream basically all in here Okay, this is my jewelry box. It's already, like, pre-packed from my previous trip, but oops. It's really nice, and it has this other compartment up here. It's definitely falling apart a little, but I love her. Okay, in this pouch, I have my, like, lingerie and my pajamas, but obviously I'm not gonna show that. And I feel like I should bring some dresses for, like, dinner or something. I found this really cute one. This one's from Love Shack, also super cute. And then I also found this romper. I feel like it'd be cute to go out and stuff. My curling wand. I'm gonna bring a hair straightener. And then I just got this little pack. Travel size hair shampoo conditioner. Dang. Crossing detangler and a perfect leave-in. But yeah, I'm gonna bring this. Now I just have to pack my carry-on bag. And then we're good to go. I'll see you guys later. Bye. guys get ready with me day one in tokyo okay jet lag is definitely jet lagging right now it's like 4 p.m that means it's like 1 a.m back at home and i just want to pass out so bad but at the same time i'm so hungry we just got to our hotel here and there was like so many complications because my mom accidentally booked the wrong night she booked the night before so they were like we can't find your check-in but we got it all sorted out and now we're finally checked into our rooms and we're getting ready to go eat because we're all just so hungry I'm so excited to try like authentic Japanese food. This is my first time in Japan, by the way, so I'm just so excited to see everything and try new things here. Also, guys, there's like a little water station beside me. 
it's like a drinking water station it's so cool because i feel like the water here is super clean i'm from canada and the water is pretty clean there but i'm so afraid to drink from the tap but honestly, I feel like it looks pretty safe here. I feel like everything in Japan is just so clean. I went to their washrooms in the airport and it was like so clean. I feel like I could sleep in there. Tomorrow, we're taking the express express train and we're heading to a different city. I don't remember what it's called, but I'm pretty excited. excited. We're doing two days there and then we're going to come back to Tokyo for another like three more days. My sister is dispensing water. Hey. <laughs> oh my drinkable? gosh. Yeah, that's like water to drink, I'm pretty sure. I have like the fattest pimple on my forehead. You can't see it because the beauty filter, let me turn it off. Okay, beauty filter's off. It's right there. I guess it's not that bad on camera, but it hurts like a bitch. I always get pimples when I travel and it's so annoying because, well, it kind of makes sense because you're in a plane for like hours and it's really gross in there. So it's contaminated. I'm trying to go quick because everyone's like already ready and they're all waiting for me. Fuck, I just realized I forgot to sunscreen again. Ugh, and it's so hot here. I always forget sunscreen on the days I need it most. I thought it was hot in Taiwan. Oh my gosh, Tokyo's like 10 times hotter. Like, the humidity is insane. My mom's like texting me. She's like, hurry up. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Okay, I already pre-did my lashes, as you can see. Also, did you guys see that Huda Beauty is rebranding? They're, like, repackaging everything. Um, but, oh my gosh, my lashes are already pre-done because they take way too long to do and would take 10 times longer if I did them on camera. Okay, y'all, gotta go. I'm just adding some highlighter, and I'm done. Bye, guys. Wait, can't forget my lip balm. Lips be dry. Ooh, that was a lot. Uh. So we all know and love the hyaluronic and niacinamide acid from The Ordinary, but do we really know their benefits? This is hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5. You may or may not have seen me use this in my get ready with me's basically every day. I like to mainly use this serum for hydration, but it also helps plump my skin and supports my skin barrier. And this is niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. This serum helps boost my skin brightness, improves my skin smoothness, and reinforces my skin barrier over time. These serums are used best after cleansing and before moisturizing. Bye guys! guys we're about to go to a japanese cosmetic store <laughs> so i want to see like all the different products they have i'm taking you guys with me duh oh my goodness what is <gasps> insane it's here to your app <laughs> one left what is that Pop <laughs> <laughs> go, go why are you spazzing <laughs> It's the female hair oil. If you wing on this, your hair stinks. And it's a crunchy. <laughs> Dang, you really got the last one. Yeah. Katie, if you needed this, <laughs> I'd be bald Get it. rid of that bald spot. <laughs> you put it on, and then. <laughs> Bruh. This is a fragrance mist that is also UV protected. On your ankles, on yourself, on your hair. Ooh, this one's refreshing, but smells like old granny. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. In the basket. <laughs> there is so much stuff. I'm like so overwhelmed. I love it. You thought this was <laughs> Tear Tear. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Tear Tear is like a Korean brand, not. Yeah, but I know what it be here. I don't know. Wrinkle Clear Hand UV. They do not play around in the sun here. This is why their skin is so nice here. They don't go tanning. I'm gonna get this. It's so like tear tear vibes. 
Yup. Bougie. Have I love you too, Tear. <laughs> two shades to choose from. <laughs> Linen or ginger? I want to do like a full face using Japanese cosmetic products. So I'm going to try and find stuff. So I just grabbed a foundation. The powder? I found this like lemon <gasps> primer. It's primer. What? Look. So oh good. my god, it smells like lemon. Does it smell it? Mmm. I might get this for primer. I love me some good citrus. So I'm going to get this. <laughs> I found two tier. Stop tweaking out. Tier, tier. So they do have tier tier. This is Love. setting spray. Is it? Okay. Is it good? Kind of stunk. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I used to be obsessed with these. Oh yeah. Y'all look at that. Okay, there's four shades. This pink one. Erica, I don't know which one to get. This one. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna use this as bronzer. Skin Radiance Vitamin C Mask. Should I do the bronzer one? Oh my gosh, okay, they have this glow skin balm. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, for concealer, I'm gonna try this. I have a feeling this is not my shade, but they literally don't have any other concealers. Zing, she is filled up. English, English, yeah, thank you. Zing, she's thick. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey guys, in honor of it being my last day in Japan, here are some things I love about Japan. The first thing is their toilets. Literally every single toilet I sat on was warm. Like they had heated seats at all the public bathrooms. Well, I wouldn't say all, but like a majority of them were. Like their bathrooms here are so advanced. The bathrooms are also like insanely clean. That goes into my second thing I love. Everything here is so neat and tidy and clean. Like, I feel like you can just sleep outside and feel clean. Everyone here is so kind. Like, it's actually insane, especially their customer service. Like, they are so welcoming and so open to help you out. And even if they don't speak English very well, they're still like wanting to make conversation with you, wanting to help you out. Like, it's just insane. Their manners are so amazing here like i love it and everyone's style here is so amazing also can we just talk about how glowing my skin looks with these three products they're the three products in my kit with glow recipe anyways back to everyone's style here it is so good and like you don't see any locals like out and about without a good outfit on like everyone has a super cool outfit and their makeup looks so good and so cute like they really know how to dress here the next thing is the amount of vintage items they have. If you want to go shopping, this is the place that you want to be. Especially if you're looking to buy something designer. They have so many cool vintage designer bags here. And they're all secondhand, but they're all in like the most pristine condition. Okay, this is like one thing I vividly noticed, but their taxis are so cute. I wish I took a photo to show you guys, but they're like little black cabs, but they're shaped like so cute. I feel like when most people think of cabs, they think of like a little yellow car, but the cabs here are all black and I don't know, they look like they're straight out from a cartoon movie. They have like a convenience store at every corner, like a 7-Eleven or a Family Mart, which is so perfect because if you're thirsty, you just go and grab water. Or if you're hungry for a snack, you can literally find a 7-Eleven right around the corner and grab something to eat. I do feel like it's pretty common to have a convenience store at every corner in Asia because in Taiwan, it's like that too. There's basically one every turn you make. And you know, like sometimes when you go into a store and the sales are really rude, especially when you go into like a nice like designer store or something, you're looking to buy something and the sales just end up being so rude and entitled because I feel like that's pretty common in like designer stores. It's honestly such a turnoff and it makes you want to leave right away and like forget about what you want to buy but they're so welcoming that you want to buy like everything they recommend you it's just such like a different experience here and that is basically it i truly love japan so much and i'll definitely be back bye guys hey guys here's my long-awaited tokyo shopping haul some of you guys were asking for a brandy haul first so i'm gonna do that first i already wore a lot of these but i got this really cute like tank top this yellow tank top with a little duck on it and it already has a stain this oversized t-shirt. 
And then last but not least, this Tokyo shirt. They didn't really have that much things. Like, it's like a lot of stuff that you can get back at home, so. This I'm most excited about. There were so many, like, vintage designer stores, and I've been looking for this bag for so long. Basically, I really wanted to get this when it first came out, and I just, like, held it off for so long, and I didn't know it was a limited collection. So by the, by the time I wanted to get it, they didn't have it. So I told myself if I found this in Tokyo at a secondhand store, then I would get it. But guys, this is she. I'm like obsessed. Hold on, let me. It's a little denim Louis Vuitton bag. Ah! I've been wanting this for months. Like, it's so cute. It's so perfect for like every day. And I feel like it's the perfect size. I'm obsessed. This one's a little different. It has like this on the side. And it's not as flat. And it's like, there's like stripes on it. Okay, and then from Dear Beauty, these are probably like my favorite things that I got. I got two of these perfumes, but they're not just like regular perfumes. They're one of those balm perfumes that you rub on. Look at how cute the packaging is. And it looks like a lipstick, but this one's lavender scented. And you basically just roll it on your wrist and it smells so good. Not to mention, these are so pretty. Like, the packaging is so cute. They have two different scents. I also got this one. This one is rose. Oh, wait, no. I think this one's lavender. No, this one's rose, yeah. The pink one is rose. And they both smell so good, like, in its own way. Probably my favorite things that I got. And then I went to the Stussy Stussy store. And I got this navy blue hoodie. And it has the logo on the back. And it's purple. And then I went to the Ralph Lauren here. The Ralph Lauren here is like so good. There's a bunch of stuff I've never seen before. I got this um, like t-shirt sweater thing and it's great. It's so cute. And since it's August, it's basically fall in my mind. And then I got this really cute like pink button up sweatshirt. You could wear it on top of a tank top or just alone. And then last but not least, I got this half button up t-shirt. No, not t-shirt, like cardigan shirt. Very cute. And that's all. This was such a fun trip and I'm definitely going to be back. It was so much fun. Bye guys.